मेगा स्टार्ट गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन वेलकम टू द इंट्रोडक्टरी लेक्चर ऑन सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन आई एक्सटेंड अ वार्म वेलकम टू आवर डिग्नेटरीज आवर स्टीम गेस्ट श्री विवेक अत्रे एक्स आई एस our worthy principal dr balraj thapar the coordinator is club gddsd college dr madhur mohit mahajan on behalf of the gddsd family thank you so much for being uh, with us sir thank you so much to have accepted our invitation i now request principal dr balraj thapar to uh, welcome our worthy chief guest principal sir good afternoon ladies and gentlemen esteemed shri vivek atre ji honorable members of the staff and dear students it's a matter of great pleasure and pride that a person of shri vivek atre's stature and eminence is missed us as a resource person his words of wisdom will be a source of inspiration and stimulation for all of us vivek atre ji ex ias officer is a motivational speaker mentor and advisor columnist and visiting professor he resigned from ias in 2017 he has eight ted talks three josh talks over 3 million viewers on youtube to his credit he is electronic engineer from net kurukshetra he started his career in civil services after graduating from college he also initiated e sampark e governance project of chandigarh as deputy commissioner panchkula he initiated projects such as adar saman that is respect for the elderly as director it he was the man behind it park of chandigarh he is a author of three books finding success within move on bunny and dubeji bounces back he worked as a civil servant for 25 years he took voluntary retirement to pursue his passion for speaking and writing as a full time profession vivek atre ji and vivek atre ji's career academy panchkula is a premier coaching institute of competitive examination the study material given by the coaching center is very helpful in the preparation of the exam he has inspired thousand of youngsters to adopt the cheerful positive and multi dimensional approach to their lives now it is a turn of sc students to be motivated by shri atre ji ex ias officer thank you thanks a lot sir thank you so much principal sir i now request shri vivek atre ji to deliver his talk sir thank you very much for the warm welcome balraj ji principal sir and uh, very nice to see you and also dr madhur and dr mega who are coordinating this uh, seminar webinar it is wonderful to see a lot of interested students also are present and it is very good that we are starting this phase of uh, tie up between sd college and our academy vivek ias career academy for inspiring and motivating and also preparing the students for the civil services exam and i am joined by my colleague uh, from senior faculty member dr vivek rana who will be answering your questions on the text when you are whenever you are asking the questions uh, they will he will answer on the text now the point is that uh, some of the questions of course i will take at the end and you can ask a lot of questions at the end because whatever i say might lead to a lot of thoughts and what they might uh, be a lot of doubts or questions so it is always good to ask this is a webinar kind of feeling of course we are not in the same hall but that is how the times are and it is okay to be connected like this but one day i will definitely meet you in the hall of uh, sd college and wherever we have the class with uh, classroom uh, preparation basically we are planning through this tie up to carry out civil services training programs in sd college for sd college students so that is the introductory introductory part sd college students are going to be benefited because our expert faculty dr vivek rana dr jagpreet singh dr simran kaur and others including guest faculty like colonel chima and even ias officers like mrs keshni anand arora who is a former chief secretary of punjab mr kbs sidhu who is special chief secretary of punjab now 
केशनी मैम इज फॉर सॉरी ऑफ हरियाणा के बी एस सिद्धू साहब ऑफ पंजाब एंड अदर्स विल ऑल्सो बी कमिंग फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम टू एड्रेस द स्टूडेंट्स सो फर्स्टली लेट मी टॉक अबाउट वाई यू शुड अडॉप्ट द पाथ ऑफ सिविल सर्विसेस एंड देन आई विल टॉक अबाउट वॉट यू शुड डू सो फर्स्टली मेनी ऑफ यू मे बी स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर सेकेंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर विच एवर कोर्स यू आर इन you are basically to start thinking about your life ahead you are to start thinking about your career you are to start thinking about what you will do after college and while thinking you must also have an option that if you want to get into the administration if you want to get into civil services if you want to get into ias ips irs ifs or even the state civil service of punjab himachal haryana delhi etc then you have to start preparing for these competitions from year 1 or year 2 or year final year whatever you are in ega ma'am which uh, classes are the students from are they from all classes yes sir yes sir they are mixed bunch pg okay. ut both right so whichever year you are in basically you need to start thinking as early as possible it is not sufficient to start thinking about civil services exam after college is over that is not going to be the right path you have to start preparing mentally as well as studying within the college time that means within these years when you are still in college sd college is a college which provides you a lot of comfort levels in many ways whatever course you are doing i am sure the faculty and you together can definitely prepare mentally for the life ahead however you need specialized coaching for the civil services we plan to conduct these specialized coaching classes as discussed with the management and the principal of sd college within your campus and within the campus we will ensure that after college or whatever timing is uh, finalized these specialized classes will be held on campus i also want to inform you that whatever fees is charged to the students of vivek is career academy they will be 30% discount to the students of sd college because of this tie up because of this mou 30% of the fees will be on discount you can get more details after this uh, webinar when you ask questions dr vivek rana will give you more details contact number this that so the point is that you will benefit from this coaching if you are planning to appear for upsc exam or pcs hcs ras hs or even if you are planning to appear for any other competition because any competition requires certain basics they may be general awareness they may be communication skills they may be other skills which you need which are common to most exams so first let me tell you why you should think of the civil services you should think of the civil services because if you are planning to serve the nation there are four or five ways in which you can do it one of them is the civil services of course you might some of you might want to join the defense services it is also a great way to serve the nation some of you may want to join some kind of ngo or a national level organization which is not a civil services organization but maybe something like even uh, let's say uh, the world food program or unesco or undp india lots of un agencies etc are also in india these are also doing national and international service but the civil services provides an edge over all other careers what is that that edge is the variety that you have when you are serving if you are an ias officer you will be serving departments from agriculture to tourism from it to cooperation from uh, industries to home and all these departments require a different challenge to be met there are challenges in every department there are different things happening all the time which are absolutely uh, challenging with a lot of variety and lots of things keep happening so i think you should try to get into the civil service for the main reason which is that you should try to join a service which gives you challenging opportunities this is the main reason why you should join the civil services challenging opportunities variety variety of things happening 
and also you will not be in a simple state career boring career it is not that you will be in one dimension you will be in many dimensions at the same time so let me tell you a little bit about my own career i started out as sdm when i joined the haryana civil service first i came into ias later so i started out as sdm and as sdm i was able to really uh, make a mark as a young sdm officer in uh, kalka where i was posted i was uh, to look after 110 villages and i was to look after the towns of kalka and pinjor what is the sdm have, what does he have to do or she have to do basically law and order that means coordination with the police to see that nothing is going wrong in the area number 2 revenue administration that means land revenue whether the land is properly managed whether the taxes are being paid number 3 general administration problems of the public the civil services problems i mean the grievances they all come to the dc or the sdm or the local office of it so all these problems had to be met by me my first posting was very challenging i stayed in kalka for 3 years as sdm when you join the ias directly you will stay as sdm for 2 years in hcs or ras or hs you may stay for more years as sdm ias officers have a path that first they will be sdm then additional dc then either they will be director or joint secretary or something or dc which is deputy commissioner and even today as you know the main officers in india are known as there is a saying pm dm and sdm or rather pm cm dm and sdm are the four levels of governance in india so pm is obviously the prime minister cm is the chief minister dm is the district magistrate or dc deputy commissioner same post and sdm is the sub divisional officer or sub divisional magistrate so the point is that these are very powerful key posts where government acts where all the administrative decisions are taken they are challenging they have a variety of things so a typical day of an sdm or dc might be like this just to inform you because you are thinking of the civil services so just to inform you what will a typical day be like you will maybe have to move early or maybe have to move on time 9 o'clock or whatever the office time is and you will go to office and meet people first thing you will do is that people will be there to meet you second your pa or your staff or somebody will come sir there is a meeting at 11 o'clock you may know about it earlier sometimes the meeting comes in just suddenly and you have to join that meeting or there is a video conference nowadays with the chief minister or with the chief secretary or with the secretary home or whoever so you will join that meeting these are things which really keep happening throughout the day again public will be there at 11 o'clock normally 11 to 12 or 12 to 1 is the public meeting hour when officially there you have to meet the public but otherwise people will be there all day long in your field office then you may go to a field visit after lunch you might say okay or you have decided i will go to so and so village and see the problem over there of some water drainage problem some flooding problem some uh, electricity or some law and order problem and you will also hear the grievances of the people of that area this is a typical day in the field in the other uh, realm that is in the secretariat or in the department you will have a different kind of role there you will have more paperwork you will read more files you will write some notes you will write some uh, orders you will write some proposals so it is a very challenging job again with not that much of public coming in however there is a lot of paperwork to be done civil services offers a lot of variety as i said there may be some travel also you may have to travel across the state let's say you are in haryana or punjab you are the deputy director or director of uh, let's say the department of industries you may have to go to all the districts of the state and when you go to all the districts of the state you will have to meet people there also you will have to meet your officers of your department you will have to talk to them listen to them discuss problems with them supposing municipal elections are taking place like now in panchkula we have municipal elections where i live then you are you might get more busy 
because you are the local sdm or the local officer or you are in the department of elections or department of local bodies which looks after municipal bodies you may be busy more than ever there may be times when you don't have a busy assignment you may be joint secretary water ways maybe after 5 o'clock or even 3 o'clock you are free so you can even uh, start reading something extra at that time when you go to a lighter posting in your civil services career it is a time for self development that means that you try to read more study more creative activities should be there so i became a writer in service i became a speaker in service i started speaking motivationally to others while in service i used to be sometimes guest of honor or something and go and speak there sometimes i would go and meet people and i would speak or deliver a speech over there so all these things become very important when you are doing uh, civil services career creativity also has to be part of it you cannot be a boring dull person in the civil services or anywhere you have to definitely understand your passion you have to understand your kind of way of thinking you have to understand what really makes you tick and you really have to work hard in that direction so i think civil service is a career which provides a lot of challenge of course there are ias officers and ips officers who will also want deputation to new delhi or other parts of india and they will spend a lot of time in the government of india that is another way in which you can serve the nation now what are the benefits of civil services you will get a good salary you will be in the service for 35 years or 34 years or 33 or 32 depending on what age you come into the service and then you will have a secure life you will not be thrown out of your job tomorrow day after no you will stay in that career for 34 35 years unless there is a major problem with your career that means there is some uh, major uh, mishap or some kind of uh, corruption angle or some problem has occurred then you may be asked to leave earlier but normally it doesn't happen next you will have a career of stability that means you have a family you have a salary you have a car you have a house government house so you will not have to worry about these things that where should i now get a house what should i do with my parking area these kind of things you don't have to think you have stability you have comforts you have perks in the civil service pcs hcs officers also have similar perks it's not only ias officers let me just talk about the types of service for a minute so ias is the indian administrative service it is the apex service it is the premier administrative service of the country because ias officers they go up to the rank of cabinet secretary or chief secretary and they administer all the departments number 2 is the ips which is the indian police service which is also very prestigious and important and powerful service it is a very active and dynamic service my own father was an ips officer and i luckily became an hcs officer then an ias officer so ips is a great career indian foreign service is also there ifs what is the foreign service foreign service is basically when indian diplomats are representing india or the government of india abroad or in delhi also there are lots of ifs officers sitting in the ministry of external affairs where they are acting on behalf of the government framing policies for foreign engagements foreign discussions and contact with other countries so ifs is another very good career where you are basically going to be half your life you will be abroad then there is the indian revenue service which is the income tax as well as customs and in that you will have a very challenging career in terms of income tax you will have to calculate you will have to levy taxes you will have to levy penalties you will have to maybe raid somebody you will have to carry out some strategies for getting income tax completely secondly it could be that you are in customs where customs is basically now looking more after gst gst is basically what customs and excise department looks after but there are customs officers at airports at uh, railway stations also in some cases and they also look after a lot of things over there so it is very important for you to understand the types of civil services which are there you will get a lot of details on the website which is upsc.gov.in upsc.gov.in that will give you a lot of details 
Our Vivek Career Academy will give you a lot of details. We'll give you notes. We'll give you details. We'll give you uh, preparatory notes. We'll give you study material. We'll give you test series, and we'll give you a lot of thinking ability so that you can analyze. Now, what is your strategy for the civil services exam? Firstly, you have to be a generally aware person. GK, your general awareness, general knowledge has to be above par. Really sharp you have to be. You have to be intelligent and you have to have very good GK. Only then you will be able to get into that kind of realm of general awareness. The general studies exam in the UPSC exam is one of the toughest exams. In terms of it asks you questions from all kinds of quarters. It could be about a village in Tamil Nadu or it could be something that happened there or it could be something to do with an art form or it could be a question related to sports or industry or IT or finance or anything. So general awareness is the key. And secondly, you have to have one subject in this UPSC exam where you are absolutely sure of yourself. Supposing it is public administration or economics or history or whatever it is, you will have even science subjects, even uh, engineering subjects. You have to have one subject which you are going to take as the optional subject for the exam. So you will appear for the general studies uh, paper and for the optional subject of the exam, which will be your optional. And you will have three stages in the civil services exam. You will have the preliminary exam, which is normally held in May or June every year. You will have the main exam, which is normally held in October or so every year. And you will have the personality test or interview, which is held in March, February or whatever it is. This year, of course, the timetable was disturbed because of coronavirus, but otherwise, normally these are the months when the exam takes place. Let me also tell you that lakhs of people appear for the prelim exam. But if you are basically intelligent and reasonably sharp, you would clear the exam of prelims. And 15,000 people are normally invited to write the mains. Out of those 15,000, then only 850 or so are selected for the civil services in India. The UPSC exam is the toughest. A little easier might be the PCS competition and the HCS competition and the RAS competition. So our Vivek Career Academy is also starting special batches for HCS because 150 or so posts have been advertised by Haryana that HCS officers are needed in the state and 150 of them are going to be filled up. Then also Himachal and Punjab, they keep on advertising and even now I think the Punjab and Himachal posts have also been floated and the exams will also be held. So when you get into the state civil service, you still have a chance of coming into the IAS because you get promoted from the state civil service to the IAS after about 18, 19, 20, whatever years. I got promoted after 18 years of HCS to IAS and spent about eight years or seven years in the IAS. I must also share the reason why I resigned from the IAS. I did 26 years of civil service. I didn't want to spend another 10 years there because I wanted to be a motivator. Now I travel all across India and motivate young students, not only civil service aspirants, but school students, college students, professionals, working professionals. I talk to all of them and tell them a lot of things about emotional intelligence, how to prepare for life, how to manage yourself, how to prepare, work hard, how to have a good personality. All these things are part of my goal. That's why I resigned and I'm very happy with my career. And now three years uh, down the line, the Vivek IS Career Academy is also producing a good amount of talent which is going to the civil service. Already a few of our people got into the Indian Revenue Service, the HCS. And now again, we are hoping that two candidates at least will get into the IAS. So we are really, really happy with our uh, progress. And we feel that SD college students can definitely benefit by this program. And I'm going to now request you to type down your questions whenever you have any questions. If you are watching on YouTube, you can type down there. If you are watching elsewhere, you can type down wherever you are watching. When you type out your question, Dr. Vivek Rana, who is my colleague, he is also on the uh, chat or on the YouTube. He is going to be answering your questions. And these questions can be anything related to civil services exam. Just don't hesitate. Please ask your questions and get the answers. He will also give you the telephone number and the details of our contact details. And the SD College 
is our partner in this uh, process so you can contact sd college for uh, this kind of uh, exam tie up and preparation i'm sure that uh, mega ma'am or madhur sir will give you the details after this uh, session is over and you will basically be able to benefit from that so don't wait if you are preparing for civil services start getting serious about it spend a few hours every day studying for the civil services exam do a lot of writing practice do a lot of reading do a lot of general awareness building personality development communication skills you have to become an all rounder to be a civil servant and it was mentioned by dr balraj sapar that i am a motivational speaker with 3 million views on youtube so 30 lakh views out of that 20 lakh of them are for josh talks on civil services exam so you have to be very uh, uh, you can watch that also whenever you go to youtube you can watch that okay i have a question from nehal i'll start taking the questions so how can we cover the current affairs for upsc and what should be the attitude to read newspapers so i would say that for current affairs you need to probably be aware of the last two years of current affairs not before that especially the last one year and especially the last few months very important to be aware of what has happened let's say judicial judgments economic reforms national problems international problems let us say some scientific discoveries let us say some uh, the corona virus vaccine let us say sports let us say elections industrial development anything that is uh, you know important in the country don't go too much into crime and politics don't know about these current affairs of crime and politics is not going to be very useful to you but factual things developmental activities government of india decisions major problems in the country major uh, issues facing the country uh, judicial uh, decisions like the sabri mala case or the babri masjid case all these you have to basically see the ram jam bhumi uh, verdict which came all these cases etc you need to know about what is delhi metro doing why is there uh, not a metro in uh, chandigarh yet all these kinds of current affairs you should uh, be aware of and reading newspapers you have asked so read one newspaper that is good enough i would say in today's era because a lot of your information comes from your smartphone you have to basically read at least one newspaper that is the hindu or the indian express are my preference many people also say the same so that is uh, basically uh, very important and uh, dr madhur is also suggesting the effective art of reading the newspaper so what you must do is to skip the crime don't read about crime go to the front page and go read the issues which are of national importance or international importance go to the editorial page and once you go to the editorial page please read each of the edits there could be two to three editorials in a paper like tribune or times of india even the hindu and you must read what is called the op ed page op ed means basically opposite the editorial page where there will be an article or two or three articles of importance to the issues of the day the pandemic or the economy or Um, uh, problems were farmers problems which are occurring now all these things will be dealt with and it will be very important that you read the newspaper like that also read the sports page don't miss that and the business page also is there so make a plan that i will spend this much time reading the newspaper every day and out of that also make a plan that i will spend about 5 minutes on the front page Five minutes on another page. Five minutes on that. Don't spend forty-five minutes on one issue only, unless it is something of national, international importance, like the farmers' issue. You can read it more into detail. Why are the farmers agitated? Why are the problems there? What is what is minimum support price? All these things you can read more in detail. And apart from the newspaper, read the magazines like the Economist. Economist is a great magazine online. It is available. It might be available in your college also when it opens in the library. Economist, not Economic Times, that is also okay. But Economist will give you a lot of analysis of the whole world. And then there are uh, there is much to be said about reading uh, NCRT uh, books. 
and people start preparing uh, with NCRT. However, we will give you more details from the academy once the tie up of uh, once the classes with SD College are starting. There is a question that uh, please give suggestions about study hours. So Harshita was asking, you see, Harshita, you have to go according to your convenience. If you are studying in college and you have a day from 9 to 5 or 9 to 4, then obviously you have to study at other times. Some people study well at early morning. Some, some people study well at night. My feeling is that even three to four hours are OK for the civil services if you are focused and uh, very, very sharp. If you are sitting for four hours and not studying for more than 30 minutes, then that is not useful. So be very much alert during those hours which you are able to spare. And during this time, if you have more time to study for civil services, give it six to eight hours, 10 hours, whatever you can, and the sky is the limit. However, don't overwork yourself. Balance your life. Be physically fit, mentally fit. Be aware and alert of what is happening around. And uh, spend time on uh, yourself. That is meditation, walk, exercise. Very important to know. Okay, then uh, Jagjot is asking about effective knowledge about optional subject. Well, it has to be your subject, Jagjot. Whatever subject you have in college, normally it is that subject which you take. Your best subject. And uh, if, if you are not comfortable with those subjects for the civil services, then people normally take something like sociology or public administration or uh, anthropology or something. So it is important for you to understand the optionals and see their syllabus. Then you will be able to. Dr. Vivek Rana will be giving you more details uh, later. We will have other sessions in which you can join. All of you are on this call are invited to join the next session where we will be going into more details of how to prepare for the civil service because here we are basically trying to prepare you for what is civil services and the overall perspective this is an introductory class and uh, these introductory remarks are going to make you aware of how to go about it if your parents tell you do civil services exam that is okay but you have to be convinced from within it's very important for you to do that. So that also you must do. And also I must say that uh, being dedicated and serious is a prerequisite. Because if you are studying and not studying, then you are fooling yourself. Because ultimately you are the one who will benefit if you study. And you are the one who will not benefit if you don't. So I think uh, these remarks are enough for now. I would also say that you should be creative. Creative means that think a little dynamically. Think differently. Think like uh, nobody else does. Then why can't this thing be done in another way? Or why can't I be uh, more creative than I am? So get in things like music or sports or art into your life. They will make your life balanced, which is very important. You can watch my talks on TEDx Talks on YouTube channel. I have a channel called Vivek Atre, which is my channel. Vivek Career Academy has a channel where we have about more than 100 videos now on various IS related or UPSC related or PCS, HCS related issues. You can watch the videos on Vivek IS Career Academy also. You can stay in touch with us on Instagram also. And I personally am also on Instagram. You can ask me a question there also. Nehal is asking, is it important to make notes on current affairs from any newspaper or magazine? Or can we try and any other method? Oh, it's good to make notes. You can make certain small notes. And there was a candidate who was successful in the IAS or IPS, and she said that I make 10% notes. 10% means you distill any issue down to 10%, make notes, and then later when you read those notes, make 10% of that becomes your note. This is another important method of making notes. Yes, you must keep that note handy. It can be in your computer or on your phone, but it's very useful. I think it's good enough for now. We don't want to go into more details in the introductory lecture. But we will expect all of you to join our next session. And that will give more details. In the meantime, the contact details will also be given. And Mira Ma'am and Vivek Rana sir and Madhur sir will give you more details of how to go about it. I'm sure it was useful to you all and be in touch. Thank you. Yes, Mega Ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. Civil services is definitely a dream shared by many. And those who aspire to become one um, actually are ready to put in their hard work and toil. 
day in day out and a person who could guide them and could give them a correct effective modus operandi is indispensable so i am very sure the students must have benefited from your talk um i would rather like to thank you thank you thank you on behalf of the college the management the principal the faculties the students majorly to be here with us one of the students is asking when will be the next session so you can probably let them know that they will contact you or whatever yeah right sir we'll plan one show sure. we'll plan one show sure. it's it's been a privilege to have you with us yeah next session and we will all be together once more and uh, we will have more details going in but in the meantime you can contact uh, the college or uh, us Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mega. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Madhur sir. Thank you. Thank you, students. Thank you for being there. Thank you all.